fetch ai at the time of this recording is attempting a break above our key area of resistance that lies above the 1.48 dollars and all this is playing out after we saw a bit of a short term pull back to the lower side after getting rejected at our key area of resistance that lies between the 1.586 dollars and the 1.537 and on today's video i will be discussing the scenarios that can play out in the next coming hours basing my analysis on the additive structures and above all discuss my long-term price prediction analysis and for those of you that might be interested in taking a trade you can check out bitget which is my go-to exchange and you can see that on sign up you can now claim a welcome pack of up to 6200 usdt and all you need to have for you to register for an account is an email address and a phone number so jumping back to the charts i want to start the video by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening from the laws that we made on the 5th of august where you can see that we saw a very nice recovery where we picked in these five wave structure in a move that gave us a high above the 1.74 the 1.742 dollars completing an even larger additive count one and after we picked in that larger additive count one i was expecting that we are going to see a bit of a short term pullback in a larger additive count two whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the fibs from the lows that we made on the 5th of august to the highs above the 1.742 dollars giving me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0.382 and a maximum of the fib level 0.78 and that target area lies between the 1.325 dollars and the 0.929 which is the area that i have highlighted here on the charts and because of the corrective structure in edu 12 count tools i have been expecting to see an abc corrective structure play out where on the charts you can see that we have seen the formation of a wave b uh, that is a wave a we have seen a bounce in a wave b into the minimum target areas highlighted here on the chart which is our key area of resistance and we got rejected within that target area giving us another pullback to the lower side in what i am terming as a wave c to the lower side and there are chances that we now have the law in place for this wave c and also a law in place for this wave two and in the next coming hours if we manage to break above key areas of resistances and significant highs then that will be confirming to us that we have a law in place for the wave 2 and an impulse to the upside in a wave 3 is just getting started and for us to also confirm that we have a law in place i also need to see a five wave structure play out here on the charts confirming to us that we have a law in place but as long as we don't see a break above our key areas of resistances and a five wave structure to the upside we still have a chance of seeing one more new low in this wave c to give us one more new low for the second wave and also fully maximize our minimum target area and once we have the laws in place and we have the confirmations then i will be expecting an impulsive movement to the upside in our wave three that can easily get us back above the two dollars in the next coming days jumping to the daily chart to now discuss my long-term price prediction analysis i still believe that we got our bear market lows last year started an impulsive movement to the upside giving us a high above the 3.479 giving us completing the formation of this additive count one then we started a short term pullback in a larger additive count two into the minimum pullback target areas highlighted on the charts using this blue target area an area that we have now fully maximized and there are very high chances that we have the laws in place for the second wave and in the next coming weeks or maybe months we are going to start that impulsive movement to the upside in a larger additive count three whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of this edit wave count one, then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618, and that lies above the $6. Then I will be expecting a wave four and then a wave five, 
taking us to new all-time highs and possibly giving us more than a 10x in this bull market so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the fetch ai chart for the next coming hours and days and let's continue paying attention to those key areas of resistances in our key areas of support and i hope to catch you on my next video update